and welcome to the Red Men TV. Liverpool have just lifted the European Super Cup. It's all going on behind me. It's still going on. It's been absolutely brilliant here. I tell you what, listen, Liverpool weren't very good on the evening. I think we all know that. Uh, Liverpool probably, um, on the balance of play, might not have deserved the draw out of that game. I think, you know, Chelsea had a couple of goals disallowed and stuff like that. But I think ultimately for me, winners get results. And that's what Liverpool have proved once again this season, already this early on into the year. Liverpool know how to go about and get a result. This Liverpool side doesn't give up. We've seen that. I think the side that went out there, the midfield started really poorly for me. It looked at like... You've got to mention Kante. Kante was unbelievable. Unbelievable, mate. Right? But our midfield was overrun. One of the reasons for that was N'Golo Kante. See you later, mate. Nice to meet you. Um, he was brilliant. He was probably the man of the match for me. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter because Liverpool have done it again. Liverpool have lifted more and some silverware. And it felt good. And you know what? We've had two penalty shootout losses over the last few years, both against Manchester City. That felt good tonight. I feel for Tammy Abraham, I really do. You know, he missed that sitter. I didn't feel for him then. But he's a young kid trying to make his way into this league. But you know what? You can't be too sorry, can you? I feel for him, don't get me wrong, like. But uh, ultimately, couldn't care less how he's feeling right now. He'll remember that and it might shape his career, might define him, might, might be a better player for it. You don't know. But Liverpool, Sadio Mane was unbelievable tonight. You know, he gets two goals on the evening. He was brilliant. He was our best player. He looked so good when he went out on that left-hand side. Firmino coming on changed the game. He was dropping a little bit deeper, getting on to Jorginho and stuff like that. Uh, and then we were able to actually uh, go about and start moving the ball. Second half, we started really well. We get the goal dead early. And then you know what? We take it to extra time. We both had chances. Aging, unbelievable. Maybe up, up there. Best in the world is Bobby Firmino. So yeah, Aiden was unbelievable and deserves massive credit for his performance. You know, Joe Matip defensively, Sam lost the ball a couple of times, don't get me wrong. Joe Gomez did a job on either flank, but we proper missed Trent when he wasn't on the field. And we missed Rodo when he wasn't on the field as well. But you know what, he had to go in there, he did a job. Um, and then yeah, the front three, the front three, when they got on the pitch together, they changed the game. Liverpool won the UEFA Super Bowl. Six finals I've been to. Should have known it would be that special number. Um, yeah, unbelievable. Six finals. Finally get to see Liverpool. Finally get to see Liverpool win one. It's been, a, it's been an amazing, amazing couple of days in Turkey. As you can see, I'm sweating. It's been pretty warm out here. I'm not made for this. My Polish blood is not made for this. Like the video, subscribe. Finally got to see Liverpool lift the trophy with your own two eyes. Like the video, flat. The case is broken. It's broken. I was so close to walking on to half time as well. See you later.